Dave Ping 243. Hello guys, this is me, Dave Pink 243 and welcome back to some more Plants vs. Zombies. In the last episode, we took on the first half of Night, and now we'll do the second half. Hey, we got ourselves a brand new threat to deal with, but I will not talk about that threat until we actually see that actual threat in combat. So, uh, let's just go ahead and get these five down automatically because they'll be staple and uh, let's get walnut and uh, cherry bomb f for obvious reasons because this one is going to be a tiny bit rough uh, so starting off with the usual for these night time levels you know putting down your smaller mushrooms And, you know, things just happen, uh, I don't know, it's really hard to just go and talk about something when there's not anything important going on in the game, um, I will say, though, this gravestone is in a very inconvenient place for me. Of course, your playthrough might differ, and oh boy. Uh, yeah, put a fume shroom right there. <laughs> because otherwise, that cone head will be a problem. And look at that, that zombie already ate through that one puff shroom, so I had to replace it, so... Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this grave, because it's in a very... Uh... Obtrusive place. And, oh boy, here it comes, okay. Putting down the Hypno Shroom, uh... That's what it does, it will hypnotize the zombie and make it go fight other zombies. Just, just like that, so... Now we don't have to deal with the football player, <laughs> the football zombie, so... Uh, the football zombie, it is very tough to defeat. <laughs> it, I, I think it takes like 40 normal hits, which is basically 40 peas in order to, uh, kill it. It... Yeah, it's like very tough and... And it's not recommended to actually try to beat on your own. You're just better off using like a hypno shroom on it and just dealing it dealing with it that way. But yeah, other than that, this is a surprisingly short level for nighttime. But yeah, um I'm going to blow all these guys up, and then, uh, get those coins. And let's just uh, do some last minute uh, grave busting. Because we can do that. I don't even know what the hell the grave buster is supposed to be. Like, wh like, what does this thing look like? Like, 
Like, I, I dare you guys to try to figure out what the Grave Buster is supposed to be. And cool, I just had enough sun to, to get the Grave Buster seed to get rid of all the graves, so that's convenient. So, uh, I, I dare you viewers to try to figure out what the Grave Buster is supposed to be based off of. But, but we have ourselves a new mushroom to add to our arsenal, and this is the Scaredy Shroom. Um, it's basically a pea shooter, but uh, very much less expensive. But there's a caveat to that. It's a long-range shooter that hides when enemies get near it, so it will... It will stop shooting at enemies, at the zombies, when they get too close to it, so... Yeah, it can... It can be annoying just to have it stop attacking zombies just because they're close to it. But other than that, they are good. Um, so... So yeah, uh, other than that, they're good. Just put them at the back of the lawn, and they'll serve you well. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully with a capital H. This gravestone right here is bothering me a lot. Good thing that puff shroom just barely took out that zombie. And oh crap, here comes the conehead. All right, let's. Make sure we have a security shroom for that. And let's get rid of this stupid grave as right here. Seriously, that is in like a very inconvenient spot for me. Let's put a scary shroom there. And let's just try to deal with this cone head. I'm not talking so much in <laughs> within this part of the episode, you know, it's like there's not much going on, like and I don't really know of anything I could like talk about. Man, 
And I wish I had some stories about my life to tell, like, um... That would definitely help out, uh... It, it just, like, keeping things entertaining, I guess? Well, I don't really, I don't really have a story as of now. Uh, let's put this walnut here, just because... And let's just start replacing these puff shrooms with uh, fume shrooms because you know it's always better to do that. And why not? Let's just bust the graves while we're at it. lucky enough to find a diamond, but if I do find one, uh, I'll, I'll be sure to pick that up, because, you know, cost costs $1,000 in this game. Crap, football player, I need to get rid of you. Man, why, why did you have to come out, like, right before the huge wave? Because now there's probably going to be another one. Yep, there we go. Kinda wish I had a cherry bomb for that, uh, but... What are you going to do? Wow, I'm already seriously messing up that football player. Holy crap. It, yeah! <laughs> I had no trouble with that guy, mostly because of the walnut, but still. Uh, alright then. Uh, here's our next mushroom. And it's actually the second to last one. That we'll get for a while. Um, uh, the ice shroom. It temporarily immobilizes all zombies on screen. It, it's not all that useful. For, a, for a few, except for a few exceptions. Uh, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. I only really use it when I have to- Oh, and there's a, a new zombie there, but I will not talk about that zombie until we get to that. Uh, when it appears in the level itself. Um... Um, I'm debating whether I should take Cherry Bomb or Walnut. Uh... I think Cherry Bomb will honestly be a better choice from what I'm about to deal with. But yeah, at least this at least this level will give me something to talk about as soon as that new zombie appears. Because it is a very interesting zombie. Other than that, this is 
kind of your standard night level. I just think I can't believe we're almost done with this uh, world already. I honestly thought it would take longer, but uh, I, I guess I misjudged. Uh, let's not get rid of that gravestone just yet because that because that zombie is there. Uh, come on, die. Okay, good. Ooh, gold coin. Oh, here, here he is. It is the dancing zombie, or as most people like to call it as, uh, the Michael Jackson zombie. Um, I want to place a hypno shroom right there because, uh, what's really cool is that if you hypnotize a dancing zombie, he'll summon hypnotized backup dancers, and that'll be like a really cool way just to utilize the hypno shroom. So yeah, uh, dancing zombies have the toughness of a conehead, and they will summon backup dancers, uh, whenever there isn't, uh, Whenever there isn't four in total. So, I think it's pretty obvious why I called that uh, zombie to be special. It's because it, it very much looks like Michael Jackson, but the. Uh, the uh, an earlier design of the dancing zombie was very much like Michael Jackson. This one only just looks like Michael Jackson, but the, uh, the design that'll show up on screen is basically like, 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 it translates into just looking like Michael Jackson as a whole. And it's not just a resemblance. Just as a side note from me, Future Dave, uh, the original design of the Michael Jackson zombie had to be changed up for the Game of the Year edition, aka the design that you see right now is the one that you're seeing in the final game. Uh, the reason why they had to change it is simple. Uh, the game came out after Michael Jackson died, so it would have caused a lot of controversy. But with that being said, uh, here's past Dave again. But anyway, we have our last plant of, uh, night. And this one looks very, uh, evil. It is the Doom Shroom. Uh, basically another one of those emergency items. Uh, it destroys a large area, leaving a crater in its wake. So after... After it blows up, it leaves behind a crater, and you may think, oh, how is that worth it for having, how is it worth it for having it will be like 25 less sun than a cherry bomb? Well, you'd be surprised at how powerful this thing is, but, um, you'll see that more in the 10th, in the 10th level, because other than that, I don't really use the Doom Shroom. So, uh, Level 2-9 is basically an extension of, uh, 2-8. The only other... Th the only other thing that is added on is basically the, the screen door zombies. So, you can just kind of rock the same things that you got before... That you just had before. Um... Yeah, I'll still stick with Cherry Bomb. It's better, in my opinion, at least. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Doom Shroom is very destructive when it goes off, but, like, I'll save that for 2-10, because, um, that's where its power is actually more useful in, when there's a lot more zombies on screen.
Well, that's inconvenient, this stupid-ass gravestone. This is why I hate graves. They, they just make themselves spawn out everywhere in the lawn, and it's just the worst. Oh yeah, and the the only other thing that makes it makes this level different from the previous one is that this, is that there's two flags rather than one, so you might be here for a little bit. So I'm just putting down these scary shrooms, you know, having uh, actual long-range attackers is always nice. Great Michael Jackson zombie. Um, another thing that, that can technically be a weakness to the Michael Jackson zombie is the fume shroom, since since the fumes pass through all zombies in within the range of the fumes. So there might be something you wanted to uh, want to actually take note of. Um, it's not a bad idea to try to use fume shrooms on, uh, dancing zombies. That, that's if you don't have a hypno shroom to just basically, uh, take care of that dancing zombie. Or you just want to save it for the football player instead. Or rather, a football player, but I digress. I haven't really seen any screen door zombies in this level uh, yet, so um, that's weird. Ah, oh, there's a screen door. All right. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, accidentally clicked on the window. That that will happen quite a bit. Um,
Alrighty, and after busting this last grave, uh, we'll be done with this level, so... All we have left is, well, uh, 2-10. So, let's pick up this note and read it. Hello, we would like to visit for a midnight snack. How does ice cream and brain sound? Uh, sincerely, the zombie, so... Apparently, they're going to hit it up for some uh, midnight snacking, and yeah, that's what you would expect. Uh, so, another ultimate battle we go, so... Okay, I'm getting grief busters. That's not bad, but... Uh, I would rather have some uh, offensive plants... Uh, Uh, oh boy, uh... There we go. That's something. Ah, fuck it. Just doom shroom them. So, if you put a Doom Shroom in, like, the middle lane, um, it pretty much just destroy destroys ev every zombie on all all lanes nearby, so... Yeah, that's, uh, pretty fucking destructive, I would say. A bit of- a bit excessive, if you ask me. Alright, so at least we have offense on all lanes, and... Oh crap, uh, okay, that, that Puff Shroom is almost dead. So, once again we have the awesome ultimate battle theme, uh, courtesy of, the, of, of this game's great soundtrack. I'm getting a lot of emergency, uh, mushrooms here, uh, Not that I'm complaining, but, uh, uh, yeah, let's just freeze their asses. And oh crap, football player, football player, football player, football player. Uh, yeah, Hypno Shroom, go and... <laughs> go and make that football player fight against his brethren. Um, okay, what do I do here? Um... BOOM! And look at all that destruction that it caused. Uh, oh, oh boy, but there's like a ton of zombies there. I need to do something about that. Yeah, the Ice Shroom is nice when you actually do need it, it's just that I don't often need it, per se. It kind of just leaves itself to be like in... Be, be, just... It, it's kind of like wasted space most of the time. But in these levels, I don't need to worry about that. And oh crap, another football player. Need to deal with him. And of course, Michael Jackson zombie, uh... 
Okay, I was worried that the Grave Buster would get eaten by that uh, backup dancer, but thankfully he did. And oh crap, another uh, football player. Looks like we're just about done with this level and move on to the next world uh, just to see what it's like before I end the episode. And thankfully I have more than enough firepower to just basically blow up on these guys' faces here. Fucking boom! Uh... Out of boom? Yeah, the ice room isn't exactly explosive, so... Whatever, uh, so we have the... The first plant of the, uh, third world that we're doing in this Let's Play. I mean, of course we're doing all five worlds, what, what am I saying? Uh, anyway, this is Lilypad. Uh, let's you plant non-aquatic plants on top of that, uh, on top of it, so... You'll see why that matters very much so in the next world, which is here. And also, it's day daytime again. Uh, <clears throat> looks like the zombies gave up attacking your front yard. Now they're trying your backyard. And on top of it all, you can't even use your mushrooms. Well, honestly, I prefer using daytime plants anyway, so... In this case, fuck the mushrooms. Because they'll fall asleep during the day. Well, isn't that just dandy? And yeah, um... I, I will- I will mention the ducky tube zombie, like, that- that's really no different from a regular zombie, or conehead, or whatever, like, any- any kind of, like, ducky tube zombie is just going to be, like, a normal conehead or buckethead zombie. It's just basically a- a, a regular walking zombie that can traverse through the pool, so this world is called Pool, and yeah, that's what we'll be tackling in the next episode, at least the first half of it, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and see you guys for episode four. See you guys then.